Carolina FFA. This video will be recognizing students who earned proficiency awards. The proficiency awards program helps students set goals and learn practical skills. Students receiving awards have shown exceptional accomplishments and excellence in a supervised agricultural experience program. Let's see what our members have accomplished this year. In the fruit production category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that includes the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market crops for fruits and nuts. In second place, Cheryl Moore from the South Johnson FFA chapter. In first place, Ariel Swinson from the Richlands FFA chapter. Ariel works on her family's blueberry farm. She is responsible for caring for six cultivars of blueberries and over 1,064 blueberry plants. She is in charge of the fertigation system, pruning, and mowing the fields. Her greatest accomplishment is learning how to properly use a fertigation system, which is used to both hydrate and fertilize the plants. Congratulations, Ariel. In the goat production category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that involves the use of the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market goats in all raw goat products. In third place, Connor Mills from the Northeast Regional School of AgriScience FFA chapter. In second place, Jordan Prevet from the Lumberton FFA chapter. In first place, Alyssa Glenn from the Crest FFA chapter. Alyssa works at her high school's livestock facility, where she works with Ober Hasley goats. She is responsible for managing the dairy goats, training new workers, treating sick animals, and creating a milking schedule for the goats. Her greatest accomplishment is growing her ability to operate and manage part of the livestock facility. Congratulations, Alyssa. In the landscape management category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that includes experiences with planting and maintaining plants and shrubs, landscaping and outdoor beautification, groundskeeping, sprinkler installations, and lawn mowing or care services. In third place, Caleb Horn from the Grace Creek FFA chapter. In second place, Lily Askew from the Hopton FFA chapter. And in first place, Avery Cook from the Alexander Central FFA chapter. Avery works for his family's company, Cook's Landscaping. He is responsible for mowing lawns, trimming shrubs, mulching, and running machinery. The operation cared for both small and large scale jobs. His greatest accomplishment is growing in his ability to manage lawn care equipment. Congratulations, Avery. In the nursery operations category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that provides experience in growing, marketing, and selling ornamental plants, vegetable starter plants, shrubs, and or tree production for the purpose of transplanting or propagation. In third place, Kyle Sink from the Alexander Central FFA chapter. In second place, Madison Dwyer from the Wakefield FFA chapter and in first place, Trey Bryant from the Cape Fear FFA chapter. Trey works as an intern at his school's greenhouse. He is responsible for watering, planting, and maintaining the greenhouse. He also works at a local seed store where he is responsible for plant orders from customers. His greatest accomplishment was learning how to successfully mix fertilizer by understanding electrical conductivity and pH. Congratulations, Trey. In the outdoor recreation category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that develops or provides outdoor recreational activities for public or family use as experiential or income producing enterprises. In third place, Sarah Pepka from the Freedom FFA chapter. In second place, Chandler Florence from the Orange FFA chapter and in first place, Rebecca Russell from the West Rowan FFA chapter. Rebecca works at Patterson's Farm Market and Tours. She is responsible for making management decisions, giving tours of the facilities, developing advertisement platforms to expand their customer base, and day-to-day -day operations such as cleaning, 
restocking shelves, and feeding animals. Her greatest accomplishment is learning to speak professionally to a large group of people. Congratulations, Rebecca. In the swine production category of entrepreneurship, students own an enterprise that applies the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market swine and their raw products. In second place, Aislinn Shroop from the North Buncombe FFA chapter, and in first place, Alexander Palmer from the Orange FFA chapter. Alexander owns a small herd of show pigs where he is responsible for breeding, showing, and marketing his pigs on the county, state, and national level. He raises pigs to grow children in agricultural practices, teach the community, feed the local population, and show the pigs. His main goal is to teach others about the swine industry from birth to harvest. He is also responsible for day-to-day -day operations, public relations, artificial insemination, and showing. His greatest accomplishment was successfully farrowing the first purebred spot litter in North Carolina in 2019. Congratulations, Alexander. In the swine production category of placement, students work for an employer that applies the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market swine and their raw products. In first place, Tori Arfkin from the White Oak FFA chapter. Tori's project centers around learning how to raise a hog from start to finish. She was able to tour a local processing business where she was able to learn about the process of finishing hogs. She was responsible for feeding, weighing, and managing her hogs. Her greatest accomplishment was gaining a new hobby. She plans to pursue a degree in poultry and livestock management. Congratulations, Tori. Poultry production. In the poultry production category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that includes the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market chickens, turkeys, domestic fowl such as ducks, geese, and guinea, and their raw products. In third place, Anna Mercer from the Lumberton FFA chapter. In second place, Samantha Britt from the Hopton FFA chapter. In first place, Lauren Hayes from the West Rowan FFA chapter. Lauren bought and raised purebred poultry. She breeds Polish, Bantam Silkies, Bantam Frizzles, Americana, and A.M. Semanis. She is the owner of her business where she is responsible for day-to-day -day responsibilities, veterinary care, finances, and maintenance of her flocks. Her greatest accomplishment is successfully raising chickens from hatch and then breeding the birds. Congratulations, Lauren. Specialty Animal Production in the specialty animal production category, students apply the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market specialty animals and their raw products within the agriculture industry. Members in this area must demonstrate that they are producing and marketing specialty animals not covered in any of the existing award areas. In third place, Cortland Hayes from the Lumberton FFA chapter. In second place, Anna Brown from the Corinth Holders FFA chapter. In first place, Jesse Klein, from West Rowan FFA chapter. Jessie's project focuses on managing beehives. She has grown her business from one hive to several hives across her county and western North Carolina. She is responsible for caring for her bees, extracting and bottling honey, marketing her business, and maintaining good financial standing. Her greatest accomplishment is placing first at the state fair for her honey. Congratulations, Jessie. Specialty Crop Production. In the specialty crop production category, students own the enterprise or works for a business that applies the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market raw crops not covered in any of the existing award categories. In third place, Anna Mercer from the Lumberton FFA chapter. In second place, Cheryl Moore from the South Johnson FFA chapter. And in first place, Joseph Smart from the Tuscola FFA chapter. Joseph works for his family's farm where they grow barley tobacco, vegetables, and own dairy cattle. He is responsible for producing and preparing the crops for market, fertilizing and spraying the crops, and operating machinery around the farm. His greatest accomplishment is increasing his yield of barley tobacco by trying new practices. Congratulations, Joseph. Small Animal Production and Care 
In the small animal production and care category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that includes the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market small animals and programs that typically provide a service in caring for the well-being of pets. In third place, Chloe Schmidt from the Lumberton FFA chapter. In second place, Jenna Thornton from the Clinton FFA chapter. And in first place, Emily Wilhelm from the West Roman FFA chapter. Emily started her own rabbit breeding business her freshman year of high school. She is responsible for taking proper care of her breeding stock and newborn kits. She is also responsible for growing the rabbits, maintaining their nutrition plan, marketing her business, and taking care of her finances. Her greatest accomplishment is creating a pricing structure that has allowed her business to sustain. Congratulations, Emily! Sheep Production in the sheep production category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that includes the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market sheep, raw sheep products, and wool. In third place, Isabel Frick from the Corinth Holders FFA chapter. In second place, Allison Williams from the South Rowan FFA chapter. And in first place, Cindy Connolly from the West Rowan FFA chapter. Cindy began her project in 2014 since then, she has been involved in breeding, raising, and maintenance of registered and commercial met breeds of sheep. She has been partnering with her parents to sell the lambs at market or through direct sales for meat. She is responsible for ensuring the animal's health, safety, and overall diet and exercise. Her greatest accomplishment was exhibiting the 2018 Supreme Champion U in a, senior, in a junior show at the North American International Livestock Exposition. Congratulations, Cindy. Vegetable Production In the vegetable production category, students own the enterprise or work for a business that applies the best management practices available to efficiently produce and market unprocessed crops and all common garden vegetables. In third place, Morgan Herrick from the Grays Creek FFA Chapter. In second place, Chloe Patterson from the West Rowan FFA Chapter. And in first place, Emily Eldridge from the South Johnson FFA chapter. Emily operates a one acre vegetable garden where she produces sweet potatoes, peas, tomatoes, peppers, squash, cucumbers, okra, and a variety of other vegetables. She has been involved in her family's garden since she was young. She produces vegetables to provide healthy, chemical-free food to her local community. This year, she has expanded her garden to twice its original size. Her greatest accomplishment has been adding a drip irrigation in her garden and establishing a climate-controlled vegetable market. Congratulations, Emily. Veterinary Science In the veterinary science category, students own the enterprise or works for a business that includes working with veterinarians in clinical practice, research facilities, colleges of veterinary medicine, animal health industry, or any other environment in which they assist veterinarians in performing duties related to health, of people and or health of welfare of large and small animals. In third place, Michaela Smith from the Piedmont FFA chapter. In second place, Sarah Pepka from the Freedom FFA chapter. And in first place, Faith Moore from the West Rowan FFA chapter. Faith worked on her family's farm at a young age helping to administer vaccines to animals. She now works on the Lazy Five Veterinary Clinic in her hometown she is responsible for cleaning the facilities, helping the technicians, administering grooming treatments to animals, and helping to prepare the animals for surgery. She has been involved with both small and large animal care for as long as she can remember. Her greatest accomplishment is being promoted from a kennel technician to a hospital technician at the veterinary clinic. Congratulations, Faith! Wildlife Production and Management In the Wildlife Production and Management category, Students own the enterprise or works for a business that includes the improvement and the availability of fish and wildlife through practices such as land and water habitat improvement, wildlife surveys, trapping and or stocking of fish and wildlife game. In second place, Ashley Cruz from the White Oak FFA chapter. And in first place, Jimmy Campbell from the Granville Central FFA chapter. Jimmy's project is centered on trapping wild and nuisance animals. He utilizes as much as the animal as possible after trapping and sells the products to co consumers. 
He manages his own business and has attended many trapping seminars to learn proper techniques for trapping and usage of the animals. His greatest accomplishment is learning the skills of trapping to help the wildlife in his area. Congratulations, Jimmy.